Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at um, at something in the markets that has gone completely bonkers since the election. And, you know, I was kind of refraining from talking about it, but I'm going to talk about it because, well, I do own it, even though I don't necessarily consider it an investment, which many of you will know exactly well, if you clicked on the video, you know exactly what it is. But many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that is, of course, Bitcoin. Yes, I do not consider Bitcoin an investment. From fundamentally looking at it, you can't really make an assessment from it. That's what I don't consider an investment. Doesn't mean that I don't own it, though. In fact, I've actually put out a video. Here is the screenshot of the video showing you guys my crypto holding. So if you guys don't believe me on that, just watch that video. And I want to talk about today what in the world happened with uh, with Bitcoin because uh wow just absolutely wow so before we start make sure to like subscribe comment it really does help with the algorithm on youtube as well as from make sure to follow us on xfl investing the like just on discord which is the best way to get the videos lives and as well as shorts the link is in the description below for that so with that said let's get started with this video all right guys so yeah if you guys have seen the massive rally that bitcoin has had since the election we're seeing it right here Last time, this thing was, what, $60,000? It's been stuck at around $60,000, maybe even sub-50, I believe, at one point for quite some time now. But it recently has had a pretty big rally, nearing an all-time high of $90,000. Wow, that is absolutely insane. You guys can see here that on the year to date, this thing has been, you know, sub you know sub 60 i think the lowest that it was so far on the year to date yeah thirty-four thousand seven hundred and seventy-eight dollars so yeah thirty-four thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight dollars so it's been for quite a wild ride but then again it is bitcoin it, there is no fundamentals behind this thing uh but it's still man people right now are absolutely loving bitcoin and with that kind of rise especially if you bought it or especially if you held it so you know for this long this is this is tremendous right this is actually a tremendous amount of capital gains that you have right now it's kind of crazy so let's actually take a look as to what in the world occurred here looking at the past month we can see that this exactly started to go up the second well, November 5th, which we all know what happened on November 5th. Donald Trump got elected, and Donald Trump has been saying a lot of good stuff and positive stuff with his administration as well as cryptocurrencies. Vivek, I know, is really big when it comes to that. And, you know, there's, there's a little bit of whispers in his ears about it. So, knowing this, crypto investors were just boom instant rally from sixty nine thousand seventy thousand dollars to pretty much overnight seventy four thousand dollars essentially and we actually got recent news about his treasury secretary in regards to bitcoin itself and we got this from eric daughtry breaking this is as of 22 hours ago President-elect Trump will nominate Scott Benson for Treasury Secretary of the Epic Times. Now, I had no idea who this guy was, but there was one comment by I Am Silky saying, Notably, Benson has emerged as a strong advocate for Bitcoin and the broader crypto industry. In an interview from June, he expressed enthusiasm about the intersection of crypto and Republican values. Quote, I have been excited for the president's embrace of crypto, and I think it fits very well with the Republican Party. Crypto is about freedom, and the crypto economy is here to stay, he said. So there you guys have it. And I'm not just going to take a random, you know, post for what it is. Here is Fox Business. Betting market suggests Trump will pick pro crypto advisor lead for treasury. And this specific pro crypto guy it is Scott Benson, as you guys can see right there. The founder and CEO of investment firm Key Square, who previously taught at Yale University, has been the key advisor for President Trump's campaign. Traders on Polymarket give Benson 83% chance of becoming the treasury secretary nominee, while he has 82% chance on Kalshi's prediction market. Now, unfortunately, it is not all sunshine and rain rainbows because well there is a small thing down here which if you guys can read it it's a little bit concerning and it basically says former soros funded management cio and trump donor scott benson discusses the impact of the heresy presidency on the economy so 
He has clearly stated that he is pro crypto. And in fact, in this uh, small video over here, he says that he will be willing to do whatever President Trump says. Are you expecting to be part of the cabinet, Scott? Yeah, I, I will do whatever President Trump wants me to do. So as you all can see, yeah, I don't necessarily know if this guy is good or not. This is the first time I do hear about him. And I really am curious to see or and hear everybody's opinion on this guy. But so far, so good. Bitcoin and crypto is, um, oh man, they are, they are absolutely loving a Trump win right now. And it's not just Bitcoin. If we take a look at coin market cap, we can see that all cryptos are up so as you can see bitcoin on the seven day it is just a massive skyrocket up as well as ethereum obviously tether that is a us pegged coin so that one that doesn't count solana also is looking incredibly up binance up as well dogecoin up to up to what 40 cents already wow uh you guys can see that is just parabolic right there xrp also moving steadily up usdc stable coin not really a problem there cardano which is one that i do own is had a pretty big jump right there and a bunch more you guys can see everything is just going up when bitcoin goes up all pretty much all other coins do go up as well and for all of those naysayers out there that are probably saying you don't have Bitcoin. What are you talking about? Well, first of all, guys, I do have Bitcoin. I just don't consider it an investment. It is the way that I see it is is a gamble. Does that mean that you don't invest in it? Absolutely not. I my first thing was investing in crypto. That's how I essentially started even this channel. I was showing crypto stuff. Um, it's just that it's a very esoteric kind of market. Not a lot of people know about it, and it's very, very difficult to get in it. You tell somebody about the, the coin Solana, nobody knows. You talk about Apple, eh, everybody seems to know what Apple is. Not to mention that when it comes to cryptos, the reason why I don't consider it an investment is because there's no fundamentals behind it. Could you trade it? Yes. Could you look at charts for it? Yes. But fundamental investing, which is what I like to do, you really can't do with any of these coins because they don't really have any fundamentals behind it there's nothing i can look at like a cash flow statement an income statement or a balance sheet in order for me to make a determination whether it's a good investment or not and this is the reason why i do not consider bitcoin investment that being said though i do own some of it and here is a snapshot from the video that i told you guys to watch at the beginning and you guys can see that i do own 0.04 of bitcoin a little bit more than 0.04 i think it's like 0.0456 something like that so i do own a lot you guys can see that i am up around 3500 as of the video was recorded and if we take that 0.0456135 a quantity that I have when it comes to Bitcoin, multiply it by that 88,000 that is currently at, we can see that it is upwards of 4,013, essentially $4,014. So I am up a lot on this. And well, basically I bought Bitcoin when it was at around, I think I bought like a thousand dollars or close. No, I think it was like $500 worth at around like $10,000 when it was like around that. And at one point I was even staking it in a company that uh, now has gone bankrupt so yeah you guys can tell that i am um i know a little bit about it i know a little bit about crypto a little bit about bitcoin uh but i stopped doing it because i really didn't see any consistent profits when it comes to it as opposed to like dividend investing so this is my two cents when it comes to this congratulations to any of you who has bought bitcoin when it was like at 10 grand or even when it fell down to thirty thousand dollars you guys are up a lot on this and i really do hope that bitcoin goes up to 100 grand by the end of the year that would absolutely be great you know just because i don't consider an investment doesn't mean i'm against it i'm actually not against it i'm very pro crypto i really really am just not an investment for me but Aside from that, guys, that pretty much does it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And if you'd like to join us on Discord, which is the best way to catch the videos, live streams, as well as shorts, the link is in the description below. So with that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.